So, a lot of people may wonder, where have I been? What is Yami been up to? Is his group dead? Is his project still continuing? So, as you can see, I'm on my box studio, doing terrain right now. And you might wanna take a look by yourself. See this? Started from around like there, mm -hmm. there to here, and there's still more, much more to go. Right order is where the battle to the Shimi start. And how long is this gonna take exactly? So there are two major river. One right here uh, on the Toba Road side, and another have to be at Fushimi, which is around over there on the right, a big river, and then I have to go through the same painful process as this one, and the thing is. It's not easy just making a river because I have to dig down on this one to be like because I want it to be as accurate as possible and not only that I mean if you go easy it will just uh, ugly as, as it is I mean it's like throwing trash in the garbage <laughs> sorry I'm uh, not sure how to pronounce it. Haven't said this for quite a while. But anyway, yeah, I have to keep doing this until it's finished. And then I can move on to the other part. But first, I have to finish two major rivers one here on the Toba side, and the Takagisawa River on Fushimi side. And it takes long, not only just because this is a big river, but the other part, which is, uh, if you have noticed, the map I'm making is huge. And what you ask, right? Why could it be huge? Can you just make a small one, mini one? Well, the thing is, here's the thing if you make small one, you have to make like uh, a mini side version of that real life map and with that being minimized it's gonna limit a lot of things and what I wanted is to give you the audience uh, as much as accurate perception of what was but of Toba which me is like as much as possible because people have been wondering what was it actually like? Is it like this? And uh, some people just don't know it or they just follow some total war show going to for the samurai video and stop oh it goes down like this. It's like this. When it's actually uh, I'm not really trying to be a nerd here but what I'm trying to do and to tell the world that uh, act the actual thing of what happened is actually cooler than what we have been told what people understood uh, it's like a mean uh, an oral mean that's only been told by Tong. Now from generation to generation and we have come lost to the point on we don't even really know what it's actually like and only know by the description on what happened. And here I am sitting my ass here digging river. Uh, what makes it painful is that I can't go through the you know, uh, normal process 
on how to actually make a river. Uh, the thing is, when it comes to making river, you can just pen it like this with the uh, pen tool here. Let me show you. Oh. Yeah, you can just make it like that. But the thing is, the river at uh, Toba Fushimi area is huge and it goes down which I can't just paint it like this I have to dig it down as deep as it and there's no other to for me to easily make a river that I can just use this one because it's will make up what the people have to actually look like and I have to use the square one with this bush see this oh shit uh, there it's the only one that can do this it collide align with the main land right here it doesn't break the ground it doesn't make on the ground and when I use the number one Oh my god, I have been such a fucking idiot. It actually look better than what I have been doing here. I mean, at, the f at first it doesn't work because... It takes low and it's just like this. Oh no, but I was actually like... Right. Uh, because this is already pre-made by what I was doing earlier during the square one and now um you see this you see this it look weird why at the same time I was using the smooth tool on the square one to make it look realistic because the surface that I'm trying to make it doesn't exactly look like some sort of style like this. It's supposed to be a, a little bit rock. But anyway, uh, this is gonna take a while because good things take time like they say. And I want you to be patient because that's one of the key of success. You gotta be patient. Do what you want, don't want to do first. So you can do what you want to do later. It all starts from there. It's not an easy path. But it, doesn't, it doesn't mean it will not be successful when results come. Because what I have planned, what I'm thinking, is a big thing. And people are gonna a little bit stare at what I know. Now let me go back here. So, yeah, basically this play, what am I gonna use for? It's, people talk, I'm just only making a game, but it's actually more than that. What I'm trying to do here is make a, a almost a real life side version of Battle Toba Fushimi on Roblox. And like I said, it's not just game. Whatever I'm gonna be using, it can be used for perhaps uh, a documentary, a uh, movie, and uh, if you have seen all the battle analysis videos or battle map videos, it's actually just simple when you just can put, um, you know, take your draw map and put stuff like 
uh, draw a simple tree uh, symbol and stuff to make like map and some uh, 3D version of the 2D map to make it look more a little bit realistic but I want to go further I want to it to be like literally 3D so people can see from all the side on all the sides actually this this side look like this it's not only just on the bird view surface I want you to see around uh, 360s view of course it's better so as you can see now so after the map is done what am I gonna do next so basically as uh, people in my group already know but some of you who just happen to come across my channel or just follow my YouTube video and that's it and not on my Discord not on my Discord didn't follow the progress uh well what they know is that I don't have much of that ability to uh, attract people to come and join this group without suddenly leaving out of nowhere because they have no patience they don't know how shit goes down I don't update all the stuff to them but even I did it still happened which uh, may come from this factor no patience and they probably just interest more than uh, interest more and interest more in something else like Napoleonics or something that's popular pop culture on local community they don't know what this genre is I mean they have seen but to them for an undercated eyes it's nothing just another Japanese group and that's not it that's just it but for uh, at least an accredited person at some point this is a big thing a major thing that should be spending time with and if it's thing your time to you have seen all the things all the stuff but when it comes to Boshin War or Bakuma Superiors it's almost like a mean there's always something new about it when the other thing like we have already seen them we know what it's like but not for this one so of course at first the one we must people that's interested will be interested in this but what I'm doing here is investing my time so I have ton of people come to my group later and then we can start making the documentary or something like that and you may ask again why do I have much why do I need much people just for this project because uh, basically the warfare of this time period and at this battle is a live battle they were uh, widely used of light infantry type units by the Japanese at this time they aren't just a bunch of samurai I mean there still are there's still the one riding sword and spear and but suddenly change the fact that they already improved their military at some point but they don't go fully modernized they just have some of the melee units because uh, most of the armies in Japan at this time they still use musket uh, rifle muskets not fish load one they do have fish load, fish load one but not that wide so imagine you are the soldier loading your musket it's 
probably take up Robbie about one minute or more on and the you know Japanese person who is not family with muskets and stuff but when it comes to reloading it will take time right and you can just fucking do spear charge up on him flog to him and boom you don't even have to wait to build it which is actually useful but what or how it goes down on then why did the choking it lose i will tell you about that later sorry about the noise from outside um my house is right next to the road so you might hear those stuff anyway i hope you're enjoying your time and thank you to uh take to come take your time to listen to me saying this it's just so notify so you don't have to worry or anything and merry christmas hope you all have a nice day see you again next time good luck